Hi everyone, we're going to uh, patch our Prometheus today. Now, this isn't a patch for everybody. This is just a patch for people who do not have um, their Wi-Fi adapter working in there. It's because we have a Broadcom chip and we had to update the driver for it. So this won't affect any, uh, everybody. If you do put it on there, it's not going to affect anything, so don't worry about it. But um, let's figure out how to get it done. We're going to assume that um, you don't have internet access, so you're going to want to open up a browser in your computer and go to prozone.getxbmc.com. Um, you're going to go there and you will see the patch directory. And in there is a file called target.zip, which you can uh, download. So you're going to download that first. It's about 143 megs, so it'll take a, a minute or two. Um, I've already put it in there, so for the sake of argument, we'll just uh, say we got it in there. So then what you're going to do is you're going to have to put it onto a USB thumb drive. So we're going to start off by going to our download location. This is where we save the file. In this case, I put it in downloads. And there it is, target. And you're going to want to unzip it. Um, I use uh, 7-zip. You can use whatever you like. There's the uh, built-in uh, unzip program, so you can do it that way. But So I'm going to extract it here. And you'll see there's four files in there. Kernel, kernel MD5, system, and system MD5. So you're going to take those, and you're going to copy them onto your USB drive. Um, you're going to need to do this um, and plug it into the back of one of the USB uh, ports that's on the back of Prometheus. There are four of them, so you can use whichever one. It doesn't matter. Then what we're going to do next is we're going to see how to copy uh, these files from the USB drive to the update folder in Prometheus within the, the interface there. So um, go on down to the next video, and we'll, uh, we'll cover that step too. Alright, so here we are ready to go. We've got our four patch files uh, that are copied onto the USB. Hopefully you've plugged it in already. I'm going to assume that you have. If you haven't, plug it in now. Um, and then we're going to uh, move on to the next step. So the first thing we're going to need to do right now is to uh, make sure that we can see all the hidden files. So you do that by going over to settings. So move yourself over to settings. Select that and go into the appearance menu which will be on the top left hand side now we want to go down to file lists and move over to the right and go down to the menu item that says show hidden files and directories we want to make sure that that is in red all right so selected so once you've done that we're going to head back to the uh, to the main menu and we're actually going to go into the file manager and we can do that by going to the Smart Menu by pushing down uh, the down arrow, and that will bring up the Smart Menu. And you can see we have File Manager here. So we're going to go in there right now. So on the left-hand side, the left pane, we're going to want to go to Storage. Um, as you can see, there's these files, uh, these directories with dots. Those are actually hidden directories, so that's why we uh, put that switch on. So go into the dot .update folder and this is where we're going to take the files from the USB and we're going to put them in there so now if we move over to the right hand side we want to go down to our USB drive now mine is named USB drive yours may be something else um, but it should have an indication of size um, on it which should help you figure out which one it is so I'm going to go inside that now and you'll see that I have four files so now I want to select them all by clicking the C button on the keyboard. That brings up the context menu and we're going to choose select all. Once we've done that we're going to push the C button one more time and we're going to choose copy and we will confirm it at the top by choosing yes. So it's going to move over those four files into the update folder and all we have to do after that is push escape, get out to the main menu, and we can uh, push down, and we're going to reboot the box. So 
as you can see we get that smart menu and we choose reboot so this is now going to shut itself down it's going to start back up and it will on the uh, top left hand corner of the screen when the splash screen comes it's right there it doesn't take too too long and it reboots and once that's done you're going to have uh, wi-fi access so um thanks a lot for listening and we'll uh, see you soon